Hey everyone, back again with another Rune Find video. Uh, this is not a quick video, and uh, you'll see why here soon. So, the rune you're looking for is a spirit rune. It's either going to be a spirit rune, a master spirit rune, or a superb spirit rune based on what What's spirit runes you've already issue? found. Um, same with all the elemental runes, nothing different there. However, in order to get to this rune, you need to unlock this war table mission called Rumors of the Sulvin Blade. It costs 10 power to unlock. However, this uh, war table mission does not just show up on its own. It's actually um, unlocked by finding a codex entry. So and what I wanted to do here was show you where it is on your map. So when it shows up, you know where to look for it, and now we'll take you out to find the codex entry so that you know how to unlock it yourself. The codex is out in Emprise du Lyon, and the easiest place to access it from is from Draken's Rise Camp. However, if you're just starting the zone, um, Serena Camp is where you come in at, and it's fairly easy to get down to, um, well actually you're going to walk this way, but anyways, uh, it's fairly easy to get down to Draken's Rise, so we want to go to Draken's Rise Camp. And once you get to Draken's Rise Camp, you want to cross over this little bridge here. And you're going to head underneath this outcropping of rocks down towards all this red lyrium. Kind of walk through the red lyrium field here and past the cave that's on your uh, left there and keep following this around and what you want to look for here is this set of statues this tells you you've gone the right way keep following it past this statue hop up here hang a left and look down and you're gonna see a little tent sitting down here and a couple elven bodies on the ground right here is where the codex entry is so when you pick up the codex entry here this codex entry that you find is what will unlock that war table mission. Once you have that war table mission unlocked, you will be able to go out to the cradle of Sulvin. So we'll go out there now. I'll show you where the uh, spirit rune is and talk a little about the zone itself. So out in the zone itself, there are it looks to me like level 11 spiders floating around out here so if you're at least level 11 you should be safe however the um, the quest to find the Sulavine blade requires you to grab some veil fire and run around and activate these statues uh, when you do activate these statues you're gonna be finding pieces of the blade um, I caution you if you're coming out here before like level 18 to 20 because the guys that spawn at these statues are level 23. So if you're not ready to take them on, I would advise against doing it so that you don't wind up getting yourself killed. But once you get out here, if you're just coming out to find your spirit rune, you want to come back later and um, find the blade. If you run over this left wall, you can find your Veilfire. And then once you have your veil fire, you're going to run across here and try to stay over on this side because there's a big pit that you don't want to fall into on that one. So come over here and head up these stairs. And once you get up here, walk around to the back and walk straight ahead. And you're going to find a door that is locked. I believe all you need is a rogue to unlock the door. I don't believe you need the deft hands perk. Uh, normally when you need the Deft Hands perk, there's a lock icon 
on the map and that was not here so I'm assuming you don't need it uh, once you get in here here is your spirit room uh, and don't forget there's also a mosaic piece on the floor so make sure you grab that one thing I did want to mention is I had to go back through a couple saved games in order to get back to this point where I could uh, show all this to you uh, and one of the things I had uh, noticed when I was walking around in here was that I had uh, stopped picking up gray items a long time ago but uh, in these little lootable containers I was finding tier 3 schematics and leaving the other crap and when I came back in here to uh, do a video that I kind of screwed up and had to redo, um, I noticed that uh, when I checked the uh, container again, because I'm just anal like that, it uh, there was another tier three schematic in there. So it was like I left the zone and the chests kind of like respawned themselves. So I would, uh, you know, I'd leave the gray items in there and leave the zone after you're done in here and see if you can't come back in and. Uh, farm up some tier 3 schematics if that's how it's working. Uh, I haven't gone to the trouble of testing it too much. I'm just kind of anecdotally mentioning that. But uh, if it works for you, that's great. It uh, might be a great way to finish off that armor or weapon or whatever you're trying, you've been looking for. So just FYI. And that's it. So I hope the video helped. Take care.